Look who's coming up. the fire and all year long he answered the demands until he was physically unable to start tonight with two bad legs the bad left hamstring and the swollen right knee and with two out you talk about a roll of the dice this is it if he hits the ball on the ground I would imagine he would be running 50% to first base. So the Dodgers trying to catch lightning right now. Fouled away. He was, you know, complaining about the fact that with the left knee bothering him, he can't push off. Well, now he can't push off and he can't land. He's going to use all arms. Look at his crowd on its feet. What a tribute. Four three A's. Two out ninth inning. Not a bad opening act. Mike Davis, by the way, has stolen seven out of ten. If you're wondering about Lasorda throwing the dice again. And he's standing on an outside corner. He's not going to give him a ball to pull. He, with Davis, he just missed. But here's two quick strikes, both fastballs that kind of tail away the outside part. Has he? He's not even flirted with the inside part of that play. You saw Dave Duncan gesturing. He was gesturing to Carney Lansford at third. Oh, and two to Gibson. The infield is back with two out and Davis at first. Now Gibson during the year not necessarily in this spot but he was a threat to bunt. No way tonight no wheels. <laughs> They're plenty deep in the outfield and a lot of room. They're playing him straight away in center field. Look at it right down the line. He's a threat now with two strikes. No balls, two strikes, two out. Little number foul. And it had to be an effort to run that far. Gibson was so banged up, he was not introduced. He did not come out onto the field before the game. You can really see the limp. Uh, he's not driving that ball. It was by him. Let's see he's really almost he almost has to talk to his legs and say hey let's go we got to get out of here. It's one thing to favor one leg but you can't favor two. No way and that's what he's trying to do he really is. Oh and two to Gibson. Roy are you all right fella. Let's play ball. using Gibson as a screen he took a shot at the runner and Mike Davis didn't see it for that split second and that made it close a lot of times what you do you'll give a sign to the first baseman say now be there they call it now be there play if I get the ball I'm going to throw it 14 fastballs in a row that's all he's been throwing there goes Davis and it's fouled away so Mike Davis who had stolen seven out of ten and carrying the tying run was on the move. 
They wanted to give Gibson a good shot at it with two strikes, but with the two strikes, Davis a threat, as we said, because the blue pin will score that big run. Gibson shaking his left leg, making it quiver like a horse trying to get rid of a troublesome fly. Two and two. Mike Sosha can only sit now and sweat it out. He let off the inning and popped up. Tony La Russa is one out away from win number one. Here's the big pitch. He's got to make it happen on this one. Two balls and two strikes with two out. Those extra steps that Davis will get if the count goes to three and two are very big. So Hassey and Eckersley want that pitch of decision right here. There he goes. Way outside. He's stolen it. Hassey started to throw and kind of bumped Gibson, but it was way too late. Davis was way down there, almost as if he could have walked in. Not a bad pitch to handle for Hassey outside. Now watch when he starts to throw. Look at Gibson. And Harvey says, no, no, he had the base stolen. So Mike Davis, the tying run is at second base with two out. Now the Dodgers don't need the muscle of Gibson as much as a base hit. And on deck is the leadoff man, Steve Sachs. Three and two. Sacks waiting on deck, but the game right now is at the plate. High fly ball into right field. She is gone. In a year that has been so improbable, the impossible has happened.
And now the only question was, could he make it around the base paths unassisted? I tell you, there are those who say that it's what happens after the base on balls, but it's the base on balls that makes it so bad. A home run would have tied it, but the walk gives him the win. And Eckersley, who doesn't walk that many, really gets burned here. Watch Lasorda. You know, I said it once before, a few days ago, that Kirk Gibson was not the most valuable player, that the most valuable player for the Dodgers was Tinkerbell. But tonight, I think Tinkerbell backed off for Kirk Gibson. And look at Eckersley, shocked to his toe. They are going wild at Dodger Stadium. No one wants to leave.